Hello everyone, and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Within Coronation Street Real Life of Roy Cropper Star, Spanish Home and Never Seen Wife The life of Coronation Street actor David Nielsen has nearly paralleled the adventures of his character Roy Cropper. Due to the murder of Lauren Bolton, Kate Fitton, whose unexplained disappearance has left viewers perplexed, poor Roy is now under suspicion. Mild-mannered Roy was arrested a few weeks ago, and since then, his devoted friends have been fighting against the surprising accusations, facing off against a flurry of social media rumors and, of course, the suspicious gaze of D.S. Swain, Vicky Myers. The story is about to take a dark turn again because Roy, who is innocent, is going to be charged with Lauren's murder. Fans worry that, despite the eccentric yet incredibly kind cafe owner having endured many hardships throughout his time on the show, this could be the end for a true soap classic as Corey executives have hinted at a devastating farewell. The Mirror examines actor David's life outside of Roy's roles counter, including his marriage to a woman who has influenced his most well-known character, as Roy's future is in jeopardy. Salesperson for Ice Cream Born in Loughborough, David attended the esteemed Central School of Speech and Drama for his acting training. The now 75-year-old held a variety of occupations while establishing his reputation, such as bartender, gas fitter, plumber, and ice cream salesperson. David had a string of successful theater careers before getting a role in Corey, including writing and directing plays and teaching drama at Rose Bruford. Additionally, he starred in Life is Sweet and Secrets and Lies, two Mike Lee movies. Even though David was only scheduled for six episodes, he became well-known when he was cast as Roy in 1995. In fact, Roy was originally written into the soap opera briefly as a terrifying nuisance, and his concern for Deirdre Barlow and Kirkbride came off as more eerie than sympathetic. This is a long cry from the kind character that viewers have come to know and love today. Thespian but David brought his own touch to the role, portraying Roy's social ineptitude with empathy rather than malice, and the character ended up staying far longer than anticipated. Since then, bumbling Roy has played a central role in some of the most poignant plots in the soap opera, all the while providing David with the secure profession he'd long desired. In an interview with the Warrington Guardian, David talked candidly about how Roy had transformed his life, saying, I no longer feel anxious when bills arrive or about what to put in my grocery basket. That's actually the best part, in my opinion. I entered the show at the age of 46, and since I had my friends and my life together, it provided me with some comfort. However, developing a persona over a 20-year period has been intriguing. Loving Spouse Who Influenced Roy One of the most famous Coronation Street couples ever, Roy and his wife Haley touched many hearts in the UK when Haley decided to end her life as she saw fit after being diagnosed with terminal pancreatic cancer. Aside from the cobbles, David has been married to Jane Nielsen for over 50 years, and she has greatly contributed to Roy's development into a far more nuanced and complex person. In a 2009 interview with The Mirror, David disclosed how he had covertly caused Roy to become autistic, attributing his success to special needs educator Jane. According to David, Roy was a psychopath. He was a little frightening, he was stalking Deirdre. Psychos are fun to play, but they don't stick around for very long. My spouse has experience working with individuals with autism as a special needs teacher. She suggested that Roy might not be dangerous but simply socially awkward due to Asperger's condition. In 1995, not many people were aware of Asperger's syndrome, therefore I owe it to my wife. But that's never acknowledged in the story, and it shouldn't be, a name doesn't assist Roy, he's a human person. However, I believe he has it. It provides me with something to play with and gives him justification for his actions. Roy has so many quirky qualities, which I find endearing about people. In addition to being the joyful grandparents of two small granddaughters, David and Jane have an adult son named Daniel. Get away to Spain. David is a private person by nature, so his quick ascent to popularity surprised him a little. Nevertheless, he has since learned how to embrace his anonymity when it's necessary. David and Jane have been able to lead a more regular life since 2002 by dividing their time between Spain and England. David earlier stated in an interview with The Mirror, I need to leave Roy behind and be myself since they don't know Roy in Barcelona. The crucial thing is that I forget what I do for a living if I spend a few days in Spain. 
It implies that I briefly lose track of who is truly speaking to me as I return and hear someone call out, Roy. I can travel to Manchester with ease because the flight only takes a few hours. David went on, demonstrating his intellectual affinity with Roy by saying, excitement was another reason we moved. I enjoy trying new things, and getting to know a new language and culture has been beneficial. After our son Daniel departed for college, we were in a large house in Bristol and didn't know what to do. Exit from Coronation Street is sealed, as the star leaves the show after nine years. It appears that Coronation Street will feature a significant farewell next week, with the actress leaving her position after nine years. Alia Nazir could leave the cobbles in a significant development that occurs next week. The actress who plays Alia, Sarah Khan, is expecting her first child and is scheduled to take maternity leave soon, according to a new plot line, that may be next week. Adam meets Rebecca, a new customer, on the ITV soap opera that airs on Virgin Media in Ireland the next week. There's a spark between them as they spend a night in the bar of the Chariot Square Hotel, and he orders them a bottle of wine. Adam chooses to end the contact when Alia calls to let him know that he must return to the office for a meeting. When Alia returns to the office, Rich from Fabians meets her in Adam's place, and he is quite impressed with her abilities. Rich expresses his admiration for her knowledge and believes she has what it takes to be a successful partner in the company. Adam extends an invitation for Rebecca to visit the office as they return to the cobbles. Rich is not impressed when Adam and Rebecca break up in the middle of Alia and Rich's meeting. Alia accepts Rich's employment offer later in the week after deciding she wants to work for him. Alia's organizational assistance is greatly missed by Adam and Dee Dee, but Rich takes Alia to lunch and remarks that she will make a wonderful partner in the future. A client subsequently emails Adam to inform him that they are shifting all of their business to Fabian. When Adam learns that Alia has stolen one of their largest clients and that he is losing a lot of work, how will he respond? Sarah has earlier expressed her joy at the impending birth of her partner's child. Life can be challenging and there will always be obstacles to overcome, but there are also valuable lessons to be learned and gifts to be treasured, the author said. We can't wait for baby Chilton to arrive in the spring of 2024. Dylan from Coronation Street received a barrage of messages following his friend's update in the midst of courtroom bullying scenes. Following his most recent scenes, Coronation Street star Liam McShane posted a friend's update, which sparked a barrage of replies. On Monday, April 8, viewers witnessed Dylan Wilson have to appear in court with Mason Radcliffe on the most recent trip to the cobbles. As viewers of the ITV soap opera are aware, Mason and Dylan are embroiled in a tragic bullying narrative that has seen Mason relentlessly go after Liam since he first appeared on screen a year ago. Although Mason, Luca Tulin, was the vicious ringleader, Dylan, Liam's old friend, and the other members of Mason's group have also supported Mason in his bullying and mistreatment of the fellow teenager. But the cruel bullying campaign, which culminated in Mason stabbing a scared Liam, recently led to the devastating revelation that Liam was thinking about ending his life, with his mother Maria Connor closely monitoring him while she did everything within her power to secure assistance and justice for her son. But after Dylan supported Liam's allegation that Mason had threatened him with a knife, Mason's court date was eventually set. It was time to ask Dylan about her statement in light of Liam's moving testimony. The troubled child stated, in disturbing circumstances, that he had not seen Mason with a knife after the bully had threatened him and his family the day before the precinct court hearing. However, Dylan later changed his mind and disregarded Mason's threats after being reminded that he had vowed to tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Mason's destiny was ultimately decided by the judge, and it appears that the young adolescent will soon be able to leave the system after learning that he would likely receive a jail sentence due to his prior knife possession conviction. Following the scenes, Liam posted a photo of himself, Luca, and Liam's actor Charlie Renschel with Mikey North, who plays Gary Windass, on Instagram. The photo was shot during the teen's court day. The soap star wrote, behind the scenes photo from tonight's episode, as the Instagram description, and then, we're all friends really. And it didn't take long for the younger cast members of Corey to start receiving accolades. At Sandra.McGill.3956 stated, You can tell the acting was excellent because everyone detested Mason. Bravo to all the boys that participated in the plot. At Angel underscore Flint 26 said, This episode was fantastic, both Dylan and Liam were very brave and I'm so glad Dylan told the truth.